Hey, Earthly Virgo. I'm here to do a, a crystal reading for you all. Take what you need and leave the rest for others. March to the beat of your own drum. Just listen to the beat of mine. Tomorrow, join me for 7 o'clock live reading. It's going to be the first three months of 2021. Tomorrow at 7 o'clock Central, Central Standard Time. All right. I, I, I have some slots open for same-day readings. It is 4 o'clock p.m. my time, Central Standard Time. So if you're interested in a same-day reading, get those um, payments made to me by, by 9 o'clock and you'll have your reading. And let's move on. This is going to be your crystal oracle card reading. Okay. Spirit guides give me messages for the Earthly Virgo for their crystal intention reading, please. Crystal intention reading for the Virgos. Crystal intention reading for Virgos, please. Reading for the Virgo. One more. All right, overall, crystal reading for Virgo. First part, we say we have speak the truth, listen well, have the courage to say what you need to say, be heard, and read between the lines. Speak your truth, don't back down, but I know you're a Virgo and I understand. It's easy for me to express myself. I am understood. I hear what others are communicating. That's the blue lace agate. Okay. Release limiting beliefs regarding money. Increase financial success, attract extreme wealth, increase abundance in all areas of your life. Cultivate authentic relationships, Virgo. I earn unlimited income doing what I love. I am successful in all of my pursuits. And that's the emerald. Okay, that's the emerald. <clears throat> Release feelings of impatience, jealousy, or frustration. Improve the ability to integrate and process life. Connect to inner strength and unlimited potential. You have unlimited potential because you are a success. You seek perfection and no matter what you do because you are a perfectionist, okay? This is the period of, If you're born in August, that's your birthstone. That's my birthstone, born in August, okay? Good fortune is a result of good thoughts and actions. I am thankful for my blessings. Thankful for my blessings. Lord Jesus, thank you. Restore harmony and peace on all levels. Deflect unwanted or unhealthy vibrations. Break unhealthy energetic cords. Uncover, unco uncover unconscious belief patterns. Okay? Killing off the negativity, that which no longer serves you, let it the fuck go. Okay? That's the terminal, the, the terminal, terminal, I can never say that word. Terminal, terminal, terminated. Y'all gonna laugh at me. Hold on. Terminated. Terminated. <laughs> it's just I'm saying the T courts. The T courts. Okay. I am mindful of the energetic connections between others and myself. I automatically automatically remove unhealthy course of attachment. Tormelinated. Tomorrow tormelinated. I hate when I get stuck on something, I have to do it until I get it right. But you know, you get what I'm saying. Okay. Labradorite, I take the time for reflection and see life through a higher perspective. Observe life from a greater perspective. Reflect on your inner light. Develop consistent spiritual practices. Pray, meditate, do whatever you need to do to connect with source. Okay? Increase your spiritual awareness and meditate on a regular basis. Okay? This is the Seraphonite. My mind and spirit are connected with each other and the divine. Connecting to spirit. Remember the divine spark within. Aspire toward enlightenment. Increase your mental clarity and intelligence. Improve telepathic communication skills. Improve, and that is the Seraphonites. I'm probably saying that one wrong too, but you see it. You can look it up, okay? Sexual and sensual vibrancy. Increase passion for life and relationships. Attract Spiritually aligned romance, love, and your soulmate. Attracting money, attracting uh, attracting passion, attract. Uh, I can't even talk. Attracting your soulmate, love into your life, and that's the ruby and fuchsite. I I attract romantic field with divine. I attract romance filled with divine love. I have a, a healthy sex life. Well, that ain't me. Shit. Hmm. All right. 
clarify the blue lace agate. And we have the magician. Okay, this is you, the magician. Speak the truth. Listen well. Have the courage to say what you need to say. Be heard and read between the motherfucking lines. People are going to hear you. You're going to make people lead. You're going to make people hear you because you plan, organize, lead, and control your life. Your life, your business, stay the hell out of my life, stay the hell out of my business. Okay? You're probably a type A personality, Virgo. Okay? At least some of you are. Clarify the emerald for the Virgo, please. Clarify the emerald. And we have page of pen pentacles. Release limiting beliefs regarding money. You have this mentality of, the, of failure. You think that you're going to start something and you're going to fail. So you don't think you're ever going to be uh, well off, financially set, but you are. Stop making yourself believe anything different. Stop, stop thinking that you have very, very little right, or, or, or lack when you can think so much more of yourself. Release those limiting beliefs. You can do so much more than this. This is you now, but that doesn't mean it's going to be you in the future. Keep on popping. Keep on rolling. Okay, see, Ace of Pentacles. You have a limited potential inside of you. Release, catch, release, be ready to receive whatever you need to do to get out of lack mentality, Virgo. <clears throat> Clarify the peridot, please. For the Virgo's crystal intentions reading, please, Virgo, what's going on? Okay. Good fortunes is a result of good thoughts and actions. I am grateful for my blessing. Release feelings of impatience, jealousy, or frustration. Improve your ability to integrate and process life. Connect to inner strength and unlimited potential. You need to get up off your butt and make things happen. You can't wait for them to come to you. Not always. Sometimes you got to go out there and, and, and just take a, a leap of faith and spin that wheel and see where it lands. Do what you need to do to get that money. Okay? Get that money. Get that money. Okay? Tormillinated quartz. Clarify. The Hierophant. Hmm. Restore harmony and peace on all levels. Deflect unwanted, unhealthy relationships. Break unhealthy, energetic but courts uncover unconscious belief patterns. And you do all that through prayer, supplication, and going within and finding your inner truth. And also... Going in, in within to find the inner truth, truths with yourself. Forgive yourself for the wrong you're done, the wrong you have done, so you can forgive the the wrong that other people have done to you. It's just it's all about your spirituality, all about your truth, what you believe in. Okay, going within. Okay, Labradorite, you want to clarify this? Clarify the Labradorite for the Earthly Virgo, please. Observe life from a greater perspective. Reflect on inner light. Develop consistent spiritual practices by praying. Okay? And meditate. And we have the Queen of Wands. And, and you have to physically do this. You can't just sit there and think that, that things are going to just happen. You have to do something on the inside of you. And on the outside to make you move forward, you have to physically do something. If you're willing to receive all of these gifts, all of these messages and downloads or and blessings that are coming your way, you have to... Do something physically to be open and receive it. You can't just sit there. It's not always going to come to you. It's not always going to fall in your lap. Sometimes, but not always. Okay? Clarify the Seraphonite, please, for the earthly Virgo. My mind and spirit are connected to each other and the divine. That's this clarification. This clarification, please. The King of Pentacles. Remember the divine spark within, inspire toward enlightenment, increase your mental clarity and intelligence, improve your telepathic skills, work on uh, your meditation skills, work on how it feels to get a download from the universe. How do you feel when, when the universe is talking to you? How do you feel when your intuition is trying to talk to you? Are you just going to sit there and study it? Are you going to feel it? Are you going to release it? Are you going to figure out how can I tap into my unlimited potential when it comes to my intuition and my clear audience? What I'm hearing inside of my head. Okay. I'm going to do the Ruby. Clarify the Ruby and Fushite. I'm saying that name wrong. But y'all got to excuse me. So this is sexual. Okay. Sexual and sensual vibrancy. Increased passion for life. And in and, and relationships. Attract. Spiritually aligned romance. Love and your soulmate. And it's all because of your higher it's like if you are a higher being, if you are practicing life on a higher level, you're going to receive love on a higher level. 
It's like you usher, you're ushering in love in a committed relationship on a higher level that the people who you were dealing with in the past, they won't be able to touch you anymore because somebody else, the right person, will see your holy glow. Do you hear me? The right person will see your holy glow. Let him or her see it so you can find that true love, that sexual being who's going to drive you bonkers, but in a good way. All right? All right, what else? Okay. I'm going to... Let me get a couple of more. Then I'm going to close you out. Let's see. Give me a couple of more crystal cards, please, for Virgo. What else does Virgo need to focus on, please, for your guys? Okay. Lapis Lazuli. I receive messages all the time, and I follow my internal guidance system. Really? Activate your intuition. What did I just say? Be a clear channel. Act, access the Akashic Records. Stay grounded, feel protected and safe, promote clarity in the dream time. Following your intuition, learning how to enhance your intuition. And we have here the Ronadite. Ronadite. My mental and emotional bodies are balanced. I attract nurturing people. That's because you're on a higher level, okay? Release heartache, grief, and sorrows of past relationships. Encourage lighthearted life heartiness and joy restore the balance of confidence and emotions why because you are tapping into your unlimited spiritual gift that you have of your intuition and listening to your intuition therefore you are casting out the negativity of past relationships and attracting love at a higher level okay two more cards for the virgo please for the lapis lazuli and aronadite lapis lapis lazuli and the Ronadite. Didn't even shuffle. Okay. You don't have to worry anymore. I, you, you, you're receiving messages all the time. And you, the universe wants you to follow through with what, with what you're feeling on the inside. You're getting downloads. You're getting dreams. You're hearing words, voices, phrases, whatever inside of you. And that's just letting you know you're getting downloads from the universe. Activating your intuition. It might, may scare you. It may keep you up at night. But listen to your inner voice. It's there for a reason. Don't. Don't be shy. Don't be afraid because this is the universe communicating to you that I want you to peak at the highest level you've ever peaked at before. And that's where you're going to find your greatness. Way, way, way at the top that you never thought that you could get there. All right? Got okay, everything's fine. Huh. Everything is fine. My mental and emotional bodies are balanced. I attract nurturing people. Look, everything is fine, Virgo. See, this cards don't lie. Everything is fine. Release heartache, grief, and sorrows of past relationships. Encourage lightheartedness and joy. Restore the balance of confidence and emotions. Don't let this shit bother you. Let that shit roll off your back and move on with your life. Let it go. And tap into your highest potential when it comes to energy, when it comes to your intuition, so you can attract the very best because you are the very best. Queen, king, get to moving. All right? <laughs> 